Namaste, I am Dr. Naresh Bana and today I am going to talk to you about Hyderabad Metro Rail project. Yes, the world's largest Metro PPP project. Hyderabad Metro Rail project. Let me give you the project details. It is the largest PPP Metro Rail project in the world. It has total 72 kilometers spread across Hyderabad over three distinct lines. That is red line as you see on the screen from Miyapur to Albinagar and blue line from Rayadurgam to Nagol and green line from MG bus stand to JB parade ground. It is an eco-friendly, fully automated, best-in-class transportation system. And the team which has constructed it is really best in their sector and in class. The construction by the top construction company of India, l &T. The coaches are from Hyundai Rotem from South Korea. Thales Canada has provided signaling and train control. KLS, famous KLS for operations and maintenance. And Samsung is doing the fare collection and Otis for elevators and escalators. There is a history associated with this project. This was first awarded to Maitas Consortium in 2008. Yes, the same Maitas, which was part of the Satyam group, which collapsed due to financial malpractices. The concession agreement was signed on 18th September between Maitas Metro and then government of Andhra Pradesh. Financial closure and performance guarantee of 240 crores for the project were due before March 17, 2009, but due to collapse of Satyam Group, it did not happen and perforce the government had to go in for fresh bids. Before I uh, give you more details, this project was given a substantial chunk of land parcel so that at least 45% of the revenue comes out of the real estate revenue and 50% from the fair collection and 5% from advertisements and others. That was the plan. So the bid criteria was based on amount of grant needed from the government. Larson and Tubro won by seeking only 1,458 crores and signed the concession agreement with government of Andhra Pradesh in September 2010. Juxtapose this with what Maitas had offered just two years before, that was a negative grant of 31,000 crore over the concession period, which in terms of NPV was almost 12,000 crores. So there was something really amiss there. Now, LNT started construction work in June 2012 and finished it in November 2017. The consortium of 10 banks led by State Bank of India has sanctioned the entire debt requirement for the project. While the cost of the project was initially 14,000 crores, it, the revised uh, cost, they say, is about little more than 16,000 crores. Currently, the project is looking at uh, extending to Old City, having got 500 crores exclusively from the state government for the purpose. And actually, it had reported operational break even just before onset of COVID, having done 1,000 daily trips and one, uh, almost 60 crore passengers having traveled in initial two years of its running. But COVID-19 impact was substantial and in March 2022, it reported a loss of more than 400 crores. But 
having got little or no money from the state government before January this year, they went in for raising uh, money from the market and their bonds were well subscribed and they could raise 13,119 crores in one single day, which is almost USD 1.68 billion. Then subsequently in March, state government also provided them 2,377 crore, which includes 500 crores for development of the connectivity to Old City. Now there are many lessons which emerge out of it. Firstly is the association of real estate. 269 acres of land is associated with this project. Acquisition of same allocation, development, and realizing revenue. It's a huge project in itself. So I feel it's better if such uh, land parcels are developed separately by the state government, the public authority, and revenue so uh, realized should be used for cross-subsidizing the project. Now, this project also had to undergo retending due to Maita's failure. That could have been avoided if there were more stringent criteria for winning the concession. You may recollect that Maitas had no such experience before bidding for this project, whereas LNT was always a well known name in the field. Last mile connectivity remains a sore point even today. While Metro is state of the art, the transportation to the metro stations, the connectivity is not adequate. A person needs, uh, who need to travel in metro sometimes may require to be taking a three-wheeler or a taxi, which may cost him more than the metro, or vice versa, when the bus is cheaper and metro is costlier on the same route. So that part needs to be addressed holistically. And in my view, the last mile connectivity should be part of the overall project. A person should not be required to walk more than 500 meters to catch the metro. Or the connectivity, the connecting transport to the metro station should be available within 500 meters of his place of work or residence. That's all for today. And I will be back with you soon with another interesting project. Till then, keep watching. And if you like this video, do click like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Namaste.